Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We are going to take a look at how you can actually change and customize the watch faces on the Amaze Fit Pace English version or the original Amaze Fit Chinese version without even having to use the app. Well, you kind of have to to get started, but we'll see about that. First of all, I wanted to report to you that in the Chinese version, there has been yet another wave of um, firmware updates. And even though we can't read it, I want to just go over and show you the different icons so that you get an idea of what to expect in the future versions of the English uh, Amaze Fit Pace. I think this is pretty much the same as what we've got now on the English version. However, when we swipe down, we have this different kind of a layout where we have airport and the moon and the sun and then the settings. And a new addition is over here in the settings. Watch this. We have um, less on the main screen and we have another tool icon here. So you have these things here. which when you look at the icons that match on the uh, English version, you'll have the English words that go with it. And now we have this. And they've stuck some things in here now that weren't there before. So these are all things we can look forward to in firmware updates on the uh, English version. And I just wanted to let you see that. Now, back to the watch faces. Up until now, We've known that the only way we could really manipulate or change the watch faces was through the app. So you'd get the listing of all of the watch faces, and then you'd find the one you want, and you'd touch it, and it would change on the watch, right? And there it goes. Okay, we're going to move this one out of the way. Okay, so that's all nice, and... Uh, it, it made you a slave of the app in order to get a different watch face. You really had to use the app. Well, no more. Things have uh, been updated on both of these uh, watches, English and Chinese. We have these new watch faces that have come in, some of which you can actually modify. So let's move the app over to the side. Let's bring up the golden rooster because that's the one they say you should start with, although you don't actually have to start with that one. But it's a good beginning because we now have touch capability. On most of these smartwatches, you know that if you touch and hold, you go into a thumbnail mode. Am I active? You're active when you see that little white circle right there. Sorry with the reflections, trying to get this trans-reflective screen to give you the best layout. There. Now, I am in this particular watch face, and some of them will have the word settings at the bottom. If I click on that, I now am in a settings mode where I can scroll up and down to change the actual picture of which they have these three different roosters. Also, on this one, you can import your own image, which you can choose an uploaded image from images you've put on the watch. We'll talk about that. Here's one that I brought in a while back just to test it. And I'm going to say confirm. I guess I selected it. There you go. And, and you've got this layout now for the rooster watch. And there it is. Okay. So with an analog watch with white hands and second hand, you have the limited capability to import and put any background image you want. Okay, it's not on, so I have to press the side. Get the little circle there. Now I'm activated. Put in any picture that you want in this one that's called Rooster, Golden Rooster, with just the white hands. A couple of the others will handle this as well. For example, we come back over to this one, says Eternal Moment, and I hit the settings again. Now I'm in a whole different thing. I have background and I have these different circles. And see the dots up at the top? If I scroll to the side, you notice that now it's saying indicators. 
This next dot at the top says hands. This next dot says the battery. And then the steps. What's that? Heart rate. Okay. And date. So you can change or delete all of these. So if I don't want the date, uh, I swipe up or down. There. Now the date is going to be gone, and I say save, and that watch face comes back without the date on it. If I press and hold, and I go into settings, and I want to change the background, I can swipe up, and I've got that different background. Swipe again, and I've got that background. You getting the picture? All these different backgrounds, or I can upload my own picture to this one in the background. So I'm going to save it with that one. And now we have this new watch. No date and that different type of background. Press and hold again. Go into settings. You're getting the picture? We're going to swipe over here to indicators. If I swipe up and down, you see how the outer ring Sorry about the focus. Come on. How the ring is changing on the outside. So you have those options. And I can leave it there and make multiple changes. Here I have hands. There, I got thinner hands now. And there's hands with holes. Easier to read the numbers. I'm going to leave that one. Now I come over here. I've got the battery. Well, I want a uh, heart rate there instead of the battery. So I'm going to swipe. And there, I've got heart rate on that one. And now I've got that one there, which is mileage. We'll leave that. There's heart rate. Now, instead of heart rate, I want, um, who knows? What, what did I have before? Battery, yeah. Okay, we'll put the battery over there. So now heart rate will be on the left, battery will be on the right. And over here, uh, I'm going to put the date back on again. So I have none or date. And those are my two options. And save. And I could manipulate the background on this one if I wanted to. So now heart rate's here, battery's there. That stayed the same. And the background of the whole thing is in the dates back again. Cool, huh? This is a really the most elaborate one of all. And again, it's timed out on me. So I'm going to come in here, press and hold, and you have to look at the ones that have the word settings underneath it. This one doesn't. This one does. And these are all the old original ones here, none of which do. So I have three. I have four, maybe. I have that one that I can modify. That's two, three, four. There's four of them. This is simple. All you can do is change the background with the fixed hands. This one has a lot of flexibility, as you just saw. This one, similar. I think you can just basically change the background. Oh, no, there's another dot up there. You see, you count the dots, and you slide to the right. So when I go to that one, I can put the date on there. So let's do that. Let's add the date. So this one, just like the last one on the list, you have the ability to add or take away the date and just change the background with the dots and the hands. You don't really have the ability to change anything more, but they're there. And then this one here, in terms of settings, you only have two, the background and the date. So that's how it works. I figured it was going to take a while, and it did, uh, to figure that one out. It's all done through the watch, which is way cool. However, now, if you wanted to add your own uh, background image, let's get to that little part. going to press here and go over to our um, rooster. And that's the one that I've got it set up for right now, right? And if I wanted to change the background from that one and add a new one, I can do that. However, you can only add backgrounds from pictures that are on the watch. So that means you got to get them on the watch to begin with. So let's set the watch aside and go back to the app. So when we're on the app, 
on the page that shows the, all the different watch faces, you know, notice down at the bottom it says load image. When we press on this, um, I can either choose a photo or take a photo. Uh, let's choose a photo. Okay. Now I'm going to go into my gallery. This is standard Android stuff. I'll be back with an image. Okay, here's an image, Samsung. Why not put a Samsung logo on uh, on this particular watch? It's going to just make a circle. I don't seem to have any ability to move it around or scale it. Oh, okay, I guess I could. I can make it go bigger. Let's make it go right up to the edge and move it up as much as I can. Well... Yeah, it's lots of limitations, but that's just this particular image. So if you have a photograph or something, you have some ability to move it around within the square of the circle. So I'm going to select that one. And that has now been synced to the watch. So let's bring back the watch. On the watch, we can go now into our settings. And this was where I was doing the golden rooster, right? And now I can say choose an image, and I'll choose the Samsung image and confirm it. Hey, where is it? Choose an image, Samsung, confirm. There it is, and save. Okay, you're not seeing it because it wasn't the one that was selected. I was just editing it, but this is the previous one that had been selected. So I'm going to press it. Oh, it was open. I'm going to press it again and make sure we go over to that one. Oh, where is it? There it go. There we go. Okay, now we're here. Uh, does it bring up Samsung? Yes, it does. All right. So... That's how you put an image on the watch. Pretty cool. And of course, if you want to, you can even do a selfie. I can say load image, take a photo, and use my camera. Now I got bright sun, and I got reflections, and I got all sorts of stuff going on here. But Hi there. <laughs> see what I mean? The sun's just coming up. Let's see if I can get a picture. Okay, how's that for a Mr. Tick shot? Let's save it. Oh, it's going to be sideways. <laughs> can I rotate it? No. All right. Well, obviously, I need to learn a little bit more about how this works. But just for the heck of it, let's just save it. It's going to sink it probably sideways. Okay, should be here on the phone. I mean on the watch. We're going to go into settings of our golden rooster. We're going to add a new one. Yours truly sideways and confirm it. Aha! There I am. Save. And now we have Mr. Tix. And if I put my watch on... Maybe it is the right way. Anyway, huh? What do you think? Um, so it shows you how well the flesh tones come out, too, uh, and images uh, on here. I can't believe I just did this. Oh, well, you deserve it. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm sorry. Anyway, there you go. That's uh, everything you need to know on the Amaze Fit Pace. And, oh, yes, it does work the same way on the uh, uh, original Amaze Fit in that you can press and hold and go through. It has the same watch faces on here now. And there I am. I can take the date off if I want to. Say save. And now we've got that one, the 2017 one, with no date on it, right? All right, so they're identical. Chinese, English, Amaze Fit original, Amaze Fit pace, the associated app has been updated. You can load an image and limited, but you do have the capability to modify and adjust a few of the watch faces and add your own picture, which I could do to that one and have different hands and, and dots. Uh, you can change that image as well. Only four of the watch faces so far support that, and you don't do the changes from the app. You do them from the watch, except you got to load the image from your phone to the watch before you can put it on there. 
Get all that? Bye.